Hello everyone. It's definitely worthwhile. Again, this is Monday, the 25th of November, 2019. It's worthwhile. There's some bullish signs across the board. I want to show you this. And uh, I think it's worthwhile doing an analysis of the GBP pairs. Okay, so very quickly, this is what alerted me to it. I was actually looking at pound CAD on the daily. Looks very nice. Beautiful level of resistance, finding support and a current bullish candle. Now, if you're a price action fanatic or a candlestick fanatic, you will note that it is also an inside candle. So those are kind of basically that's a lot of evidence just supporting the idea that uh, there's some potential there. Okay, so let's go back to this and have a look at this. Now, this is sterling on its own. So if we look at cable, which is effectively the pound against the US dollar, you know, overall, I am bullish on this. I just want to highlight that right now, this does not necessarily, it's within a range and it has no clear trend. It's clearly consolidating on the weekly up against a level of resistance, which is also support. So that is not in isolation bullish. However, when I switch across to pound Aussie and a couple of the other pairs, this, this is where it gets interesting. So we've broken through historical resistance. We've found some support. We've got some new kind of resistance we're up against here. We've also pulled back in and currently producing a bullish candle. So Pound Aussie's got it. We've seen it with Pound CAD. If we look on the monthly, Pound Aussie here started to break through this level and is starting to go higher. It's got a monthly uptrend. So that is bullish. It's certainly more bullish than bearish. This is Pound CAD. Beautiful uh, level of resistance pulling back. Nice little bullish candle there as well. The day is not over yet. Strong weekly rejection candle from last week. So I would kind of want to see how the day finishes. Does it finish with a bullish candle or does something happen over the next eight hours to 10 hours to knock this down? And then suddenly that will change the picture. Pound Swissy broken through. Look at this amazing level of just rejection, rejection, and then finally sort of starts to break above that side of it, the weekly pivot as well. Nice little bullish candle. It's got to get through this, but you can see it's certainly struggling to push that way. It wants to head on up with same thing on the weekly pulling back and looking more bullish uh so that looks pretty good pound yen uh similar scenario to pound swiss you've been massive consolidation so this indicates you know just that kind of sideways uncertainty thing same thing here on the weekly um but i wanted to highlight that pound kiwi fight will be the last one here we pull back in um so you might argue it's a bear flag i don't really want to get in with that just highlighting here we've now come back into the moving averages we're still sitting on a monthly pivot here and a strong bullish move here so there's there's certainly signs of a potential bullish move across the board and the ones that are looking bullish are looking very bullish um, I need to see how the daily candle closes because I need to see it basically confirmed currently today at 11.46 a.m. So it's not even midday. It looks bullish. I want to see how it closes. Um, but yeah, I'm looking to see these ultimately at least this week. Um, if they do close bullishly today, I'm looking to see them attempt to break higher throughout this week.